To cope with the additional freshmen on campus and to prevent the problem from resurfacing in the future, Northeastern has announced a new program called Rejection. This program comes into effect when a student applies to Northeastern, where instead of accepting the new applicant, the student is, believe it or not, rejected from the school. In other news, the Shulman Duncan is closed once again after a stampede on opening day killed five and injured 72 others. Also, the SGA has vowed to write a strongly worded letter in response to an announcement by Senior Vice Chancellor Madeline Estabrook that all students will be required to make a blood sacrifice to Aeum. Hi, I'm Christian, and welcome to the Husky Log. We have some reports just coming in that there have been extreme delays at Res Mail. I know, a shocker. For more, we go to Griffin, a reporter in the field. Thanks, Christian. I'm here at Spear Hall, headquarters of ResMail. A press briefing recently stated that ResMail has received more packages in the first two weeks of this semester than in the past three years combined. What is an inconvenience for some can be life-threatening to others. With the surge of students on campus for the first time in two years, the ResMail system is completely swamped. Students have reported delays of up to 17 days, a major problem for students relying on ResMail to get them their critical medications. I spoke to some students earlier today to get their perspective. Let's see what they had to say. So how has your experience with ResMail been? Uh, it's been terrible. You know, I hear word from my suppliers that my packages are here, and then I have to wait weeks before I get anything from ResMail. It's costing me time and money. Time and money on what? Well, I've been working on a bit of a project, and, you know, these delays, they're terrible. Okay, and what, what kind of project? Well, you see, I'm a first-year architecture major, and so I wanted to make a mark. So I've been working on my own construction project to show them what I'm worth. You know. Okay, and what, what have you been ordering for that? Like, what, what's in the box? Uh, well, I got supplies mostly, um, you know, hammers, nails, bricks. You know, I'm, I'm building an ISEC. Um, you know, I wanted to show them yeah. that I, I'm a part of campus here. So, so, so you can see I've got this, this uh, Gucci X China manufacturing brick here. And so it's, it's really fantastic, and that's why I've ordered this one in particular. Uh, okay, okay, and how many bricks do you have? Like, how many have you been ordering? Uh, 28. 20, only 28? Well, 1,000, obviously, but like, it's, you, it's a construction you, project. You ordered 28,000 bricks through ResMail? Correct. And where, where are you keeping them? Well, obviously my dorm room. Where else would I keep them? And that's the other thing. These economy triples are terrible. I have no space to myself. At ResMail for the Husky Log, I'm Griffin Larringer. Back to you in the studio, Christian. Thank you, Griffin. In international news, all Northeastern campuses are to be renamed following the acquisition of Mills College by the university. Here's Adam with more info. Thanks, Christian. After the recent acquisition of Mills College, and with many more campuses supposedly in the works, Northeastern is undergoing a drastic renaming scheme. Sources claim that the main Boston campus will be renamed Central Northeastern, with all other campuses being named to incorporate their location relative to the Boston campus. Here we have a map with each Northeastern campus labeled geographically. The campus in Charlotte has been renamed to Southern Northeastern and Portland to Northern Northeastern. Outside of the United States, Toronto has been renamed Northwestern Northeastern and London is Northeastern Northeastern. For campuses close to one another, such as Seattle and Vancouver, they are named respective to one another as well. For instance, Seattle will be Southern Western Northeastern, whereas Vancouver is Northern Western Northeastern. Finally, for the campuses in California, San Francisco has been named Northwestern Southwestern Northeastern, Silicon Valley is Southern Southwestern Northeastern, and Mills College's campus will be Northeastern Southwestern Northeastern. The plan was proposed by Northeastern administration early last week in an effort to reduce the complexity of the numerous campuses' names and will be used for the future 14 campuses in development around the world. Back to you, Christian. Thanks, Adam. Well, that's the news. The rest? Is up to you. Make sure to like our Facebook page and subscribe to us on YouTube to stay up to date. My name is Christian. Thank you for watching.